Good morning. It's August 20th, 2022. In a moment, I am going to read a letter that is posted on the internet on branham.org and on branhamtabernacle.org. This letter is a letter written by Brother Joseph Branham, Brother William Marion Branham's son, that was promised by an angel of the Lord and ordained at birth a prophet on tape. So here is Brother Joseph. Dear Press Play Bride, each Sunday we are gathering and listening to the greatest live ministry in the history of the world. We are having the most glorious time as we meet together to hear the voice of God. It is Jesus, the Son of God, revealing himself by the scriptures, making the scripture that has been predestinated to this day like it was in his day and all other days, live. And to believe it is the evidence of the Holy Spirit. The true evidence of having the Holy Spirit isn't just going to church every Sunday. It's that you believe that I am He, the Word for your day. What is the Word for today? God's prophet is the Word for today, and He is to bring the people back to the Word so that the bride will know her husband, know her mate, the revealed Word. His own life, his own works, reveals and vindicates the word of this day. It's the Holy Spirit back in the church again. Christ himself revealed in human flesh. In the evening time, just as he promised he would, I know that kind of chokes them a little bit. But you must read between the lines and see. That makes the picture come. We are the royal seed of Abraham, the bride. The last sign that Abraham ever seen before the promised son came was what? God in the form of a human being that could discern the thoughts of the people. One man, not a dozen, one man. I know many people with that, but I know it's this. I know it. Not because I'm saying you're saying it, because I didn't get it from myself. My, my thought is not my own. Ever what it is that told me, if it's wrong, then it's wrong but I'm not telling it by my own. I am telling by what somebody else has said. That somebody else is the God that spoke to us and done all these things that he has done and appeared, see? So I know it's right. We are listening to the very thought of God. Not the thought of a man, but of God. Our prophet is the revealer of the word that has been written. We understand that playing the tapes in your homes or your churches isn't for everyone. But for us, it is the only way. We love to hear the voice of God speak directly to us. We don't need any interpreting or explaining. It is God speaking lip to ear to us. This Sunday, we will be hearing God speak and tell us how he showed his prophet a preview of us on the other side. 
how that bride was looking right at him, talking to him, and we were standing together with him. We were perfectly walking before the Lord. Then God speaks through his prophet and prophesies once again and says, There may be some out across the nations, around the world, that even this tape would meet in their homes or their churches. We would pray, Lord, that while the service is going on at, at, or the tape is being played or whatever position we might be in or, or condition, may the great God of heaven honor the sincerity of our hearts this morning and heal the needy, give to them what they have need of. If you're listening to the tapes and believe it is the voice of God for our day, then whatever you may have need of, God will be speaking through his messenger and say, give to them whatever we have need of. That can only happen by pressing play, my friend. If you'd like to hear God speak and interpret his own word, reveal himself through human flesh and receive whatever you have need of, come join us Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear God speak to us as we hear the Feast of the Trumpets, 640719M. Brother Joseph Branham. Scriptures to read before hearing the message. Leviticus chapter 16. Leviticus chapter 23, verses 23 through 27. Isaiah 18, chapter 18, verses 1 through 3. Isaiah chapter 27, verses 12 and 13. Revelations chapter 10, verses 1 through 7. Revelation chapter 9, verses 13 and 14. Revelations chapter 17, verse 8. That concludes the letter of Brother Joseph Branham from the Branham Tabernacle. Now for, now for a testimony. I received a phone call from a pastor in Angola and he relayed a message to me from a brother that listens to Brother Branham's tapes in Angola. His wife is, was not a believer and she was in the hospital due for an operation to remove the child because she could not have the child naturally. During the tape service that day while his wife was in the hospital, our brother heard Brother Branham say that he was gonna pray for the sick. This brother believed that the tapes were a live ministry. And he, he reached in his pockets looking for a handkerchief to place on the speaker in the fellowship that he was listening to the tape. All he had was a simple house key. A simple house key in his pocket. He placed the key on the speaker as Brother Branham was praying and believed for God to answer his prayer. The prayer that the prophet was praying live on the tape. After the service, he took the key and he ran to the hospital to give this key to his unbelieving wife. Of course, the doctors and the nurses, they refused to allow him to see his wife 
because she was ready for surgery. Well, that wasn't enough. He found a way in, and when no one was in the room with his wife, he slipped through the door and he handed her the key and said, my prophet prayed over this key. And if you believe, God will answer your prayer. Put this key on your belly, under your clothes, and believe. He left the room, and in two minutes, according to the brother's testimony, she gave birth naturally to a healthy baby child. Hallelujah! This is a live ministry. Now, I'm going to give another testimony of an older elderly sister who was in a coma. Her unbelieving family called the witch doctors to remove the spirit of, of some animal that was placed on her when she was born by the witch doctors. The witch doctor came and this sister was, as I said, was in a coma and dying. And the family says, we want you to call on the spirits to leave uh, our, our relative, uh, as tradition is. And the witch doctor went to do his, his, uh, his thing. And he said, I can't do anything. There is no spirit on her. All the spirits have left. Then he said, I see that she was listening to some voice and that voice told her and commanded all the spirits to leave her and they have all left and that, that job has already been done. There is nothing that I can do because she listened to that voice. Again, praise the Lord the Spirit of God even casting out evil spirits by listening to the tape. It's a live ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank the Lord Jesus for sending us William Marion Branham to reveal the word for this day. Now hear ye him. Until next time, God bless you and shalom.